Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. It spans 54 miles along the Mississippi River and it's the number one port in the nation for domestic trade. It's the port of South Louisiana and it's also a key port for the movement of a ton of agriculture up and down the river. Ag Day's Michelle Rook recently got to see how the port operates in person. The Port of South Louisiana is the number one export port by volume for grain in the U.S. and so it's an important link for U.S. farmers getting their product to export markets. This vital area is a key link for moving grain down the Mississippi River from the main production areas of the U.S. And the Port of South Louisiana handles product from 31 states. Of our 100 million tons of grain every year, 60 percent of the nation's grain comes and exported right here at the Port of South Louisiana to over 90 countries throughout the world. 55% of our uh, nation's soybean crop comes out of this Mississippi Gulf region and I think 89% of that comes down this river. The efficiency of this key grain infrastructure outlet helps to keep barge freights lower. And that journey, because it's by barge, is very economical, it's very reliable. And so it's really one of those secrets to our success. And Steenhook says the end result is stronger grain prices for farmers. When your supply chain becomes better or worse, those benefits or those costs get passed on to the farmer in the form of basis. The efficiency of the Port of South Louisiana is also a key to keeping U.S. farmers competitive globally. There are other countries that, that can produce the bushels, but they can't get it to market as efficiently as we can. That competitive edge has been threatened the last two years with historically low water levels on the inland waterway system tied to the drought. Barge companies are having to resort to light loading their barges or re reducing the number of barges that they attach to form one single unit. On an individual barge, 20, 25, even 30 percent reduction in the actual capacity that you're transporting down the river. That's lowered overall export volumes for soybeans at the New Orleans port during their peak export season this fall. The last I saw was somewhere around 18 percent from the last quarter of uh, soybeans down. Um, and I, much of that has to do with the drought. Yet despite this historical hiccup, this export area barely missed a beat, getting grain out and inputs back up the river. Even in the midst of low water conditions, very unfavorable conditions for transporting by barge, you still saw last year 55% of soybean exports leave from this area of the country, which is really a testimony to how profound this area is for us. As a result, farmers are making major investments to keep this infrastructure efficient and effective for the future. I'm Michelle Rook, reporting for Ag Day.